Good evening, everyone. I welcome you all to Alankar, the distinguished lecture series at Avenue 2010, the annual international business festival of Shailesha Mehta School of Management, IIT Bombay. This year's Alankar was graced by the likes of Mr. Adi Godrej, Mr. S. Gurumurthy, Mr. Subroto Roy, and Mr. Satish Chha. Today, we have with us our very renowned guest, Padmashri Kamal Hassan. An exemplary actor, director, producer, and a winner of Variety Film Awards as our speaker for Alankar. Thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion. On behalf of Shailesh Shri Mehta School of Management, I request, Pad I request Padmanabhan to present, sir, with a bouquet. Thank you, Padmanabhan. I now request Govinda to present Ms. Mrs. Uh, Karuna Jain with a bouquet. Thank you, Govinda. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been given an impossible task of introducing a legend whose versatile career, overwhelming achievements, and awe-inspiring personality can make me continue to speak for days together. On behalf of Shailesh Shri Mehta School of Management, IIT Bombay, I, Divya Barange, take immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to Padmashri Kamal Hassan. Dr. Kamal Hassan recently completed 50 jubilant years in the Indian film industry. He has starred in more than 200 movies in all major Indian languages like Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Malayalam and Kannada. Dr. Kamal Hassan's trajectory in the Indian film industry exemplifies a prototypical journey. He started as a child artist, continued as a romantic hero, and evolved into one of the best actors that India has ever produced. Born on 7th November 1954 in Paramagudi in Tamil Nadu, Dr. Kamal Hassan's affinity towards excellence in performing arts was evident even as a child. He made his debut in 1960 when he was just six years old. He won the National Film Award for Best Child Artist, the first of his National Four Awards. He came back to films in 1972 and yet again, success was not far away. He won the Filmfare Best Actor Award for his role in the Malayalam movie Kanyakumari. The awards and accolades became almost routine with blockbuster Tamil films that followed like Apurva Ragangal, Moondram Pirai, Nayagan and Tevar Magan. In 80s, he starred in Hindi films like Ek Dujay Ke Liye and Sagar where the latter fetched him Filmfare Award. In 1989, we saw him in his only silent movie, Pushpak. Through his great acting skills, he proved to the world that the feeling of love, humor, vengeance, disappointment and sadness can be portrayed by mere expressions and body languages without uttering a word. In the 90s, we saw him in comic films like Michael Madhunakamarajan, Sati Leelavati and Avai Shanmukhi. Finally, he also made his directorial debut in the rip-tickling Chachi Charso Bees. His most recent movie in 2008 was the extravagant Dashavataram, in which he played 10 different roles. We've seen him as a writer, director, singer, lyricist, dancer and producer. It's not that he's just entered each and every facet in the field of cinema, but excelled in all of them. Dr. Kamal, Hassan is the, Dr. Kamal Hassan is the most decorated actor in terms of awards in the history of Indian cinema. He holds the record for the most Filmfare Awards and National Film Awards for an actor, which include four National Film Awards, three awards for Best Actor and one for Best Child Artist. Dr. Kamal Hassan holds a record 19 Filmfare Awards for performances ranging over five languages. 
without taking any more time i now request dr kamal hasan to take the stage and enlighten us with his thoughts